In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Leonardo's Dream Shaper version 6 algorithm. Here's some of the outputs that you can get with it. Just for examples, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do with characters, people. Um, it has a pretty interesting kind of wide-ranging visual output, and I think that it, it, it's probably one of the better models that they have. There's a couple of really cool ones, but overall I'm just going to show you some prompts that I'm going to use and we're just going to get into using it. So I'm going to go to generate with this model. And then right here, if I don't see this come up real quick, I'm going to have to go right here and say select other model down here at the bottom and make sure that I select it again. And I should just be right down here. Generate with this model. Okay, cool. That brings it right into our environment. Great. Now some things to keep note of, we're going to be generating four images. We have this setting called Alchemy on that basically just makes your images better. Um, you're going to have the dimensions of the images that you, you want. Um, and then you're going to be able to turn on a couple different things here. You got sort of the styles here. Um, and then you can do these things, negative prompts. So I'm going to put in a prompt and we'll start, start moving. Okay, so this first prompt, this is going to be uh, for an alien planet, and I'm going to have the first one go with alchemy, and then the next one I'm actually not, and then I'm going to use that to show you the difference. All right, cool, so I'll show you the first one with alchemy. So we got this one, this one, very cool, very kind of pink. Um, some of these are cool enough that I think I'm going to go ahead and upscale them. I'm just going to keep those around. I'm going to say, let's upscale this. Uh, medium. Cool. That should make it a little bit better. Okay, and then I'll show you some of the ones with this model that were not uh, run through Alchemy. And these are just okay. Pretty cool, but you got stuff like kind of logically out of place here, like a moon hanging out. It's not the worst, um, but definitely adding these features right here, it costs a little bit more in prompts, but it's very good. All right, next we're going to go into a sort of character. So this is an elf ranger. So I'm going to go ahead and generate without, and then with alchemy. And then I'm actually just going to put on photo reel, just to kind of show you what that's like because that should be pretty interesting too. Now that is not the model that we're actually dabbling with, but I just kind of want to show you that as um, that's one of the best models for characters and individuals. It just could be pretty cool to look at. Okay, here's the first Dream Shaper output for the elf. And this is the one that we did not run through Alchemy. So okay. And then this one we ran through Alchemy. Much better, much more elfish. Definitely very good. I think that this one, maybe right here, is a keeper. Okay. Then we're going to look and see what Photoreal gives us. Just for kind of fun, it's not really part of looking at Dream Shaper, but just kind of wanted to show you what you get with that. So here's Photoreal, and this guy looks like he could be, you know, in a Lord of the Rings movie. It's that good over there. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do another character. This is like a uh, warrior woman. So I'm just gonna run this through alchemy because I think that'll just be good to show you kind of the better um, output just in general. So now I've got a another prompt. I'm gonna just kind of fire these off one after another. So I've got a, um, a cybernetic cyberpunk kind of detective in Neo Tokyo. That one should be pretty good. Very cool. Okay, and so with Alchemy, this is one of the images that we got. Very good. Super detailed. Apocalyptic woman warrior absolutely checked off. And just to keep one of these, I think that this one is probably one of the better ones. I'll go ahead and do a crisp and a smooth upscale. Just kind of looking at what the difference is between those two. Now we have right here we have the detective and you can see definitely very cyberpunk um, very sci-fi we don't have a indication of 
kind of like the cybernetics, I think, as it was in the prompt. Um, except for, I think, um, one of these. Yeah, this one kind of has some sort of glowing electronics kind of on it. So I think that that's it's pretty cool. So we'll keep that one too. Now this one, I'm actually going to change the input dimension on this. Because this is a scene depicting the Greek gods and goddesses on Mount Olympus. So it'll be a panoramic view. Um, we're actually going to shoot that one. I'm going to make two images in two different uh, kind of uh, just input dimensions. So we're going to try those two. And I also have a prompt for a Japanese samurai battle. We're going to also throw that one in there too. Let's see what we get with that. All right. We're just going to try some different... Um, dimensions just to kind of check out what we get okay so here's Mount Olympus all right here's Mount Olympus in the different perspective I like this um, dimension a little bit better I think that's good I'm gonna say alchemy upscaler I'm gonna do that on low okay all right and we got the Japanese samurai battle really good but swords are always tricky this one is no exception I'm gonna upscale this and see if we get anywhere with the swords I'm gonna try to see if that upscale mode works this one is pretty cool once again swords a little bit jacked up but very neat I'm gonna run that through the upscaler as well and see if we can keep that one and in a different dimension pretty good the face is a little wonky but nothing upscaling can't fix um, we can go ahead and run this through the upscaler over here. Very good. Overall, I hope that this was really helpful for you to learn how to use this model and kind of get a gauge of what sort of outputs you could get with it. Definitely get some links to that below. And if you need any help crafting any prompts, I have a custom GPT for you. It's called Leonardo AI Prompt Expert. If you look in the ChatGPT store, you're going to be able to find it and it will help you with all of your Leonardo AI prompts. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button and drop any comments you have, and I'll see you in the next video.